if you're going to do outreach or reach out to someone you don't know, there's some things you might want to consider not to do if you want to have any degree of success when you're trying to get a response from that person. Now, I'm just going to show you some of the top weirdest messages that I've had when people have been reaching out to me. Here is one that I got this Tuesday. Hello? Not sure how that works or who's teaching that Really? Do you re what do you want me to say back to that? Really? You also get other ones such as, hello sir, how are you? We have a creative blog post, a guest post, blah 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 blah. Whole load of garbage. Is anyone actually getting success from this? I don't know. The same goes for LinkedIn. You get people through LinkedIn constantly sending you a pile of garbage such as this. Hi Craig, how is online SEO courses currently generating leads during the pandemic? I hope you are well. Since you're the SEO consultant and managing director at online SEO courses, I thought you'd be the first person to go to regarding this. Do you use LinkedIn for lead generation at the moment? Would you be interested in demoing our software? If so, book a slot here. Really? Do you guys not have any way of doing better personalization than this it is horrendous here's another one i can't we'll blank out his name but he's a blogger and he's interested to know what i'm doing at craig campbell seo duh trying to earn some money mate so you're gonna again have to do better than that if you're going to do outreach but going back to you know the inboxes that we get i've got some stuff on Instagram, it doesn't matter what platform you're on, you get absolute garbage like this. Your guest post interested. Don't know if I'm interested. If you can't really string a sentence together, then clearly I'm not going to be interested. So these are the worst case scenarios of outreach. Please do not try this at home. Try and do a little bit better, guys.